Now that the tooth is prepared, we're ready to start planning, placing our pink opaque. Now, as I described in the lecture portion, the purpose of the pink opaque is to raise the value or brighten the tooth at what we call the sub-opaque layer, meaning this is gonna be the first layer that we're gonna be using as we start building up our composites. This is the only place where I use the pink opaque is in the sub-opaquing or on the tooth structure when I'm blocking out dark teeth like this. Again, because I'm gonna be opaquing over such a broad area, I wanna use a larger brush, so I'm gonna use my number three Cosmetum brush. Let's look in through the scope. Okay, so I'm gonna, first I wanna saturate my brush, and what this is called is pre-wetting the brush. So I wanna saturate the brush, and then I'm gonna take a dry gauze, and I'm gonna wipe off all the opaque. So the purpose of pre-wetting the brush is to make sure that I can, connect, I can just use the tip of the brush to be able to pick up my opaque. And you can see how I'm able to flatten out the brush now that it's been pre-wetted. So I'm gonna to go to my pink opaque now and I can just dip my brush into the pink opaque and the pink opaque will stay at that tip without wicking up into the brush. The key when we're doing our pink opaqueing or our sub opaqueing is that we want to apply a thin layer of our pink opaque over the tooth. We want to be careful not to over opaque because if we over opaque, then the tooth is going to look really artificial. So we're placing a thin layer of the pink opaque and just gently moving the opaque around with our brush understanding that we're going to be applying additional layers of the pink opaque. So we'll place a thin layer. All right, so I'm gonna be spreading my, uh, my pink opaque. You can see there's a couple little bubbles. So I wanna eliminate those bubbles. And once I have a thin layer, then I'll be ready to cure that for 10 seconds. Commonly, we're going to need to use additional layers of pink opaque, especially when we're using this dark of a tooth. Now, again, our goal is not to turn the tooth pink, but to raise the value or brighten the tooth, so then our additional composites will help to continue to block out and bring the tooth to the Vita shade that we're trying to uh, create, which in this case is our Vita A1. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna grab a little bit more pink opaque with my brush. I'll bring the pink opaque on to the tooth. And with gentle brush strokes. And it's absolutely fine for some of the natural tooth color to be shining through a little bit. We do not need to block this out entirely. We want overall effect for the tooth value to raise, to brighten, but we don't want to turn it into just a white or a pink tooth by over opaquing. Now, once I have applied the pink opaque onto the tooth, and I'm trying to get into those smaller areas, like say towards the gingival and into the interproximal, it's a good time for me to pull out my number one brush, my more narrow brush. So now I can come in with my number one brush that's been pre-wetted and I can add some of the pink opaque into the inner proximals. And up towards the gingival. And now I'm going to go into the mesial proximal. And then I cure for, again for 10 seconds. 